I saw a while back ago that Jazza was putting together this customize it kit, and I've been excited about it ever since. Some of the items are really unique, and I can't wait to customize the fun things in this box, so let's get into it. I've been holding out of this box since before Christmas and it's been killing me to not play with this yet. I knew that Jazza was putting this kit together, but I didn't think that he was going to have it ready so fast. So I wasn't prepared to make a video for it right away. I knew that it would be a minute before I could get into this and play with all the fun stuff, but I wanted to make sure I could get my hands on one of these kits. So I placed my order and it sat on a shelf taunting me until today. So here it is. This is the Jazza Customize It kit. It has a lot of graffiti-like artwork on it, and it says that it is a special collaboration between Jazza and Muse kits. I already knew everything that was coming in the box, so I've taken the items out because I was hoping that seeing the items in person would help to inspire me. There is a lot of items in this box to customize, and it was honestly a bit intimidating to have so many blank pieces. What I realized though is that I don't need to customize everything at once. I can pick a few items to create with you guys in this video and maybe I can do a part two if you're interested. But let's get into the contents of this box so that you can see what there is to work with and then I will share which items I'm gonna customize this time. So the first thing I wanna share is this guidebook. It has some great tips for using the supplies like how to prep your surface and it also has some drawing ideas which I think is really nice if you're stuck and can't come up with something to create. In the back of the book, they even have some items to trace for shrink foam which I think is really cool. So I guess it makes sense now to share the shrink film since I mentioned it a minute ago. This is something that I've never used before but it sounds kind of fun to try. From what I understand, you draw something on this film and then bake it and you can turn it into earrings or even pins. This kit actually comes with some pin backs so that could be fun to try. Next up is this white sketchbook. I have a lot of sketchbooks and I just keep adding to the collection but I always have room for more because you can never have too many sketchbooks. <laughs> I don't know much about this sketchbook, but if Jazza approved it, it's probably good. Like many of my other sketchbooks, I will try out different mediums in it to see what it can handle. I believe that this is a mixed media sketchbook though, so it should work for a lot of mediums. Something that I thought was interesting about this book is that it has a double ribbon marker. I've always liked ribbon markers, and I really like the idea that I can mark two pages in my book if I wanted to. I can tell you now that I already have an idea for this that I want to create today and I'm so excited to paint this thing. Speaking of paint, this kit has three boxes of paint pens. These are Marabou Yono paint pens and we got a basic set with primary colors and black and white. We also got a nice variety of pastels and then we got my favorite set which is a pack of neon colors. I've never tried these before, but I've tried Posca pens and they were a lot of fun, so I hope I like these too. The next item to customize is this pencil case. It has what looks like a couple of ears, and if you turn it around, it has little paw prints on it. When you open it up, it has three divided compartments for your supplies. I think it'll be interesting to see what other people come up with to put on this item because I think everyone will have very different ideas for this. I have a couple of ideas that I'm toying with, so I'm not even sure what I'll do with this one yet. The next thing I'm going to show you is an item that I was really looking forward to receiving, and that is an infinity cube. This item is super cool, but I'm probably going to disappoint you guys because I don't think I'm going to paint it. I've been thinking about this item since Jazza said he was thinking of including this in the box, and I honestly can't come up with a single idea for it. The way the cube moves is really throwing me and I can't seem to comprehend how to put images on here that will make sense when the cube transforms. I still really like this item and I may color it just for me, but I probably won't share it in a video. Even if I don't color it, I think this will be a fun fidget for me to mindlessly play with. 
Moving on, we have a crap load of pop sockets. I love having a pop socket on my phone, but I hate the one that I have on it now. I had a pop socket that I liked a lot, but it fell off when I was at a Rob Zombie concert this summer. So I've been using one that I picked up from Target that isn't really me. So I'm glad that I have the opportunity to make my own. If by chance I lose the one that I plan to make today, then I will have nine more that I can replace it with. Another item that I was really looking forward to is this pair of wooden sunglasses with a case. I wanted to make these for my husband initially, but he has a large noggin, so that didn't work out. So I will be customizing this one for me. I still don't know what I want to do with these yet, but I know that I will eventually get to this because it's such a cool idea. Eventually, I would like to find a pair that fits my husband better, and maybe I can customize them too. Something that is a little different that was included in this box is a pack of finger skateboards. I think these could be fun for kids or to make fidgets or just for decoration. Jazza actually did a video where he made a skate park for his fingerboards, so you could go all out with this project if you wanted to. I'm still brainstorming what I want to put on them, so I'll set these aside for another day. Next up is this white tumbler with a straw. This is not the tumbler that I was hoping he would pick, but it still seems pretty nice. I thought the one that would have been extra cool for Jazza to pick was the tumbler with the strainer in it. I believe it was a tea strainer or maybe a way to add fruit infusion or something, but that would have been kind of a neat feature. But anyways, this is still a really nice item to include and I'm excited that I can put my own fun ideas on it. I'm kind of obsessed with collecting tumblers, cups, and mugs, so I was excited to have one of these included in the box. A few of the items that aren't overly exciting, but I'm glad that they were included because they will be helpful are Gesso Primer and some clear varnish. These are often necessary items when you are creating on surfaces that aren't typically painted on and that will often be handled. The last thing that you want when you create something awesome is to have that creation ruined, so it's necessary to properly prep and seal your work. The last item that Jazza thought to include are some paint brushes. This might be great if you want to color mix the paint pens, but it will even be nice to use with the varnish and gesso. You can never have too many paint brushes, so I'm happy to add these to my stash. So now that we've seen all the stuff in the kit, I'm excited to get started with painting. I decided to start with the pop socket as kind of a warm up. I have much bigger plans for the other two items I plan to paint, so I just wanted to start out simple. So I'm painting a cute little UFO and planet. When I saw the neon paint markers, I knew that I had to use them to paint something cool on the tumbler. I've never painted on a tumbler before, so I decided that I needed to map out my idea on my iPad first. This really helped me with getting the placement right, especially since I used the graphite trick to transfer the drawing. I was probably a bit ambitious with this design for my first project on a tumbler, but once I made my mind up that I wanted to paint tentacles, there was no stopping me.
The last thing I'm going to paint today is the sketchbook. Jazza is giving away a Zelda Switch to someone who makes something cool with the items in this box, so I was really inspired to make something from Zelda. I really enjoy making Zelda fan art, and one of my favorite characters that I've painted was a Korok, so I thought, why not try painting Hestu? Also, I decided to use my own paint for this. The amount of mixing I would have had to do with the paint pens would have probably used them up. I'm unintentionally wasteful when I mix up paint, so using my Holbein gouache was a good decision. absolutely love how all of these items came out. It was really neat making items that I will personally use and I'm looking forward to taking these items on the go with me. I think it'll be fun to tell people that I made the art on them and it'll be interesting to see what other people think. I wish that I could have painted more because there are so many items left to paint but I think it'd be fun to save these for another time. 
I'm still racking my brain for some fun ideas for other items, so it'll give me time to come up with something good. So that's it for me today. If you'd like to see a part two, please let me know in the comments. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and I can't wait to see what other people make with all the fun things in this kit. The Customize It kit is still available if you're interested in getting one for yourself, and I'll put the link in the description for you. This kit is just $114.99, and I really think it's a good deal for everything you get. So if you're interested, I would hurry before they're all gone. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.